Here's my last thought for this morning. God's acceptance is the power that liberates us from sin. It is not the reward for liberating ourselves. Write that on a post-it. Think about that the next time you go for a walk. You say, okay, I often think in waiting for God's approval because to be fully known by God is a scary thing. And for him to say, I fully know you and reject you, wow. But for God to fully know me and accept me before I came to accept him, that's life-changing. Exactly. Jesus would tell parables about this. One, he told a parable about a man who owed a huge debt. And he went to court over this massive debt. I think it was 10,000 drachma, 10,000 shekels. And he couldn't pay this. I mean, that's an absurd amount. And so he's sitting there in court. And the man that has this against him says, you have more, one more week to pay. And the man goes, one more week doesn't matter. I'm still not going to come up with this $10,000 that I owe you. Like, that's ridiculous. I can't do it. And everybody listening to this story is like, yeah, what's one more week going to do? If he can't afford it now, he's not going to be able to afford it in a week. The man goes, you know what? You're forgiven. You no longer owe me anything. Your debt has been paid. Man goes out in celebration. That's, that's amazing. I would, have, I would have been enslaved to this other person for the rest of my life. My kids would have been enslaved trying to work off this money. There's no way we would have been able to do it. And he just wiped my record clean. This is amazing. And on his way home, he meets another man, another man that owed him a buck 50, paid for a Mountain Dew the other day. He, the, the man that was just forgiven goes up to this guy and says, you owe me a dollar 50. Another guy goes, uh, just give me a week. I got the money. I just need to get it to you. No, no, no. You don't have a week. You're going to go in jail now because you owe me the money. The people listening to the story goes, that, that's ridiculous. No one that was forgiven that much would hold something little over someone else. Jesus goes, exactly. That's what I'm asking you to As you've been forgiven, I'm asking you to draw others into the better way of forgiveness, to the lordship of Jesus. 